Okay, so let's use these stones that we've created and kind of scatter them down onto our, our, our existing sorry, dirt stony floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these four rocks that we've made and we're going to take a transformation 2D and we're going to isolate uh, them out. So we just click uh, times two there just to scale up once and then just match the uh, the point there with the corner and then let's do that a couple more times just to isolate out our stones pretty simple method let's move this one over there like that and let's do our last one that the very quick and simple way to isolate uh, stones out of an atlas so we're going to use the we're not going to use the tile sampler we're going to use the shape splatter node which will help us with or with the intersection problem that a tile sampler uh, can sometimes have so let's put down shape splatter like that and we want four inputs so let's change the input to four uh, and let's plug our inputs in pattern one pattern two pattern three pattern four and our background which is this top uh, node here will be um this here our um our existing uh dirt stony floor let's take this place that down into there and then we can see that we can see these um, being tiled and sampled down onto the floor onto the background and having this background here will allow us to tilt um, our stones and conform our stones to, to the background um, which is really handy uh, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a mask for where we want these um, stones to lay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this mask here, which is basically a mask of our existing stones. And we're going to do a histogram scan here, uh, position 0 0.24, 0 0.24, not 10.24. And a contrast of one. So we just isolate some of those stones out. Then we will invert, let's just see, invert grayscale. And then plug this into the uh, ambient occlusion node. And uh, we'll do a height depth of 0 0.1 and a radius of 0, 0.0. Four. Uh, let's just change it to 16 samples just just because so let's invert this so we want our stones to be placed wherever it's white and then let's add this back in to create a scale map add so that we can make our larger stones here and then smaller as they go out and let's plug these maps in to the respective areas. So this is a shape mask. So let's put that into shape scale. And this one goes into mask random. So let's just pull this down here so we can see what we're, what we're working with. And that's what it kind of looks like at the moment. So obviously not very good. So let's go through our parameters here and um, start start changing it up. So let's um, start off with the tile amount. So let's double this and we'll go to 30 by 30. Uh, and that seems like a kind of good scale there. Um, let's change the scale a little bit though. So let's go 1.63. Let's see what that looks like. OK, 
Cool. And then we will just go random just to bring some of those back down. Uh, 0 0.13, yeah. Excellent, and then we can use the scale map multiplier to just bring any that are in that black area, scale that right down so we can see that that does a lot very quickly. Um, and let's change that to 0.87. It's a good value that I've landed on. Uh, and then let's do a little bit of the size ratio from background slope. This will just take the background and let that influence the scale. Um, so let's go 0 0.16 to so just get a little bit of that. So if we scroll down um, to the next section, which is position, let's give it a little bit of position random 0 0.33. Just a little bit. Excellent. So you'll see that we um, sometimes it can be kind of hard to see what you're working with because if you double tap the height, you're seeing it combined. So what I tend to do is just double click on splatter data and then we can see what like what, what it's being laid down like. So let's go from this view um, and let's offset uh, in the horizontal 0.5 and the vertical by 0.29. Let's move up, everything up and down a little bit and gives a bit more random variation without causing too much overlap. Now over overlap here, because we're not using a tail sampler, won't be uh, that big of an issue uh, once we get this kind of uh, finished up here. So let's scroll down again to the rotation section um, and we're gonna go rotation from background slope. So let's go 0.68. And that's going to let the background influence its rotation um, so that it can sit nicer uh, on sit, like on top of other elements a lot nicer. And you can add in some rotation random if you want to. Scroll down here. So this section here is where the shape splatter kind of really comes into its own here, um, away from the tile sampler. Um, it's where we can kind of use these parameters to try and get rid of a lot of the intersections that a tile sampler might come across. So we're going to do uh, an offset of one, and that'll just bring everything up a little bit. That. Uh, we can do an offset random. Let's do 0 0.53. And that's just going to give it a random offset according to the previous number. Um, and let's height scale. So this is the you know the brightness value, so the scale of the stones. Let's double that so it makes everything a bit stronger. Uh, we can go height scale random just so we can get some depth. 0 0.25. Just gives a little bit of variation there. Um, and then we're going to go skew from background slope. Now this, that, this is what really um, helps with intersections. So let's just have a, get in a good place here so we can just see what that's going to do. So if we just pull this up to one. We can just see, we'll see things start to just slope. Um, so let's just go higher, let's go five. I mean, just see things that are now like sloping. So if we zoom here, sloping based on the underlying height. So this rock is now at an angle and it's resting on top of this stone here. Let's see with this stone. It's resting on this stone. It's not 100% perfect, which we'll come to in a minute with our mask, um, but it does do a lot for you. So let's scroll down and use the masking area. So the mask isn't quite the same as the tail sampler mask. It can be a bit, bit fidgety. Um, to get the get the kind of right look that you're looking for. I'm going to put mask random map multiplier 0 0.98 and a little bit of the mask from background slope 0.15. Uh, and that'll get rid of our rocks that were kind of resting on the tops of the other rocks. Excellent. So starting to get some natural uh, kind of rock uh, gathering here, which is really nice. 
uh, and limiting the intersections as well. Excellent. So we're going to do this uh, a couple more times um, to give some more variation. So let's just pull this down here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to drag another instance of this rocks in. And I'm going to change its uh, random seed just so we can get some different rocks. But then I'll just copy, I'll just duplicate these transformation nodes down so we don't have to do that again. And we've got four brand new rocks that are different from these ones. We're going to grab this shape splatter node again, just kind of pull that down just to duplicate it down. And get rid of all the nodes. So we're going to plug these into our patterns, pattern inputs. And we're going to use this output now as our background. But let's do an auto levels in between here, just so we're playing with full range again, as you see. And the output from here, we're not, and then all levels just brings that back up. D for docking, I'm just going to dock that down in, make it a bit more neat and tidy. Pull this out here. Excellent. So let's bring these down here so we can see what we're working with. So let's have a look. Um, so we're going to do is we're going to up the amount to 80 and that'll give us smaller amounts and then let's go down scale 2.6 and 0 0.85 for scale random uh, and then before we go any further, let's create a map. Let's basically just take these. We're going to create a mask. Uh, it's going to be the same deal as this one up here before we go into this. So we're going to pull out the splatter data into a grayscale conversion node. Different ways you can do this, but I'm just going to take this and put everything up to one. Um, so that it just whites everything out. Um, and then I'm just going to add a blend node and I'm going to add that to this. We just hit add uh, and that, that basically adds now that's all of our rocks that we have in the scene, uh, including our base large rocks and our um, newly scattered rocks. Um, and then we can add that and oh, we actually don't, we can skip these two so we can just go straight into that and then delete those two there just double click on this and we can now see that we're gonna this is where we're gonna be spawning these rocks so let's uh change the radius a little bit so let's go 0.1 make it a little wider uh leave the height depth at 0 0.1 let's see there excellent so let's Plug these in to the respective areas, shape skill, mask random. Now let's finish off um, with our values for this. So we're going to do shape map multiplier. Uh, we'll bring that down to 0.54. Uh, leave the scale ratio from background slope, same as the previous one. Position random can stay the same. Rotation can also stay the same. 0.68 and we can leave a little bit of rotation random and then height offset 1 0 0.53 0 0.25 and the height scale is what we're going to change here we're going to make that 6 just so we can get some of these stronger rocks here uh, to show and then skew from background slope we'll, we'll keep that at 5 and then our masking we can let's put this up to almost full 0 0.99 and let's put uh, 0.31 and for that value and get rid of some of those scale value 6 so let's drop this down maybe to 5 
bet for. There we go. This feels a little bit better. And then we can again move on to another another shape splatter node. So let's grab that with the auto levels and we'll just grab that down. And let's continue using these rocks instead of these ones. So we can just use the, these rocks for these for these two. Drag your background down into there. And let's just pull some of these wires down so they're not crossing over the entire graph. Uh, a little bit neat and tidy. Let's pull this over and then let's do the same thing that we did the previous one. So let's bring that down. And this time we're going to take this one and pull that down to there so we have a complete map of all of our stones. So let's put the radius of this back up to one. And basically, it's just so we can fill the rest of our area. Right, shape scale and mass random. Uh, and let's just see what that's done with just the base settings. Yeah, cool. Just uh, added some more, some more stones there. So let's go through, change some of these settings. So let's change these to 180. Just so we can get a lot of uh, some of these smaller stones in there. And you see that gathering up there, which is looking quite nice already. Let's just see the scale. Let's change that to 2.74. Leave the scale random the way it is. And scale map multiplier. Let's put that up a little bit to 0.59. Let's scroll down to the position section. Um, we can leave that the way it is. Don't see the reason to change that. Feel free to change it if you'd like. Sweet. Yep, again, leave the rotation the same. That's fine. Again, change that if you like. Let's see the height. So height offset 1.53 height scale. Um, let's pump that up to 5. Just so we can see it a little bit from a distance here. And height scale random. Let's see. Yep, we can maybe bump that up a little bit if we want. 0.46. Skew from background slope again, we'll keep that five. And then we go down to our masking section. Um, and let's mask out 0.94 of them. And then from the background, 0.44. Now these just look like little stones, sort of resting in, uh, in the you know, um, areas where there, there were previously no stones. Um, and now we've got some of this really natural looking uh, rock for rock formations um, and kind of rock falls that you might see and actually actually see in nature, which is quite good, looking really nice. Um, let's have a look. It's a little bit noisy if we zoom in. These stones are a little bit noisy, so let's just see if we can fix that uh let's change the height scale back down to three there we go that feels a little bit better actually excellent thank you very much for watching this tutorial you can watch the next part by clicking the screen or the link in the description if you would like to get your hands on these source files for this tutorial then they can be found at the link in the description below as well